Hi everyone, my name is Chris Moss. I am the CEO and co-founder of Basic Water. And today I have a variety of 28 different bottled waters and we're going to be testing their pHs. So we're going to be testing today with Aqua Ion's pH tester. Seven is about a green color and that's the color of neutral, which that's the color that's supposed to be of normal water. Um, firstly, we have New York tap water. Everyone says New York tap water is the best tap water out there. Let's see. And we have a, it's a mild green color. And that's about neutral. So that's our basis. That's our base. That's what we're going to be going off of. Second, I wanted to show the other opposite spectrum. We have Sprite Zero, so they don't actually have coloring in this. So we'll, we'll be able to see the pH of Sprite Zero. I'm expecting it to be pretty acidic. So three drops, oh yeah. That is, that's deep red. That's probably below four. It's probably around two or three. That's why you can clean a penny with a Coke, just because all soft drinks are acidic. All right, first up, we have Poland Springs Natural Spring Water. You can find this about anywhere. Let's see what pH we get. Oh, okay, yellow, yellowish green. So that that's around a six. That's around a six. Next up, we have Dasani. Oh my god. What the? Oh my god. Dasani is one of the most popular out there. And it's... Wow. That's below a 6. That's around 5. I mean, that's a Sprite. And that's Dasani. That's closer to a soft drink than, than water. Third, Aquafina. Keeping up with the most popular waters around. Doing three drops. Oh my god, that's even more acidic than Dasani. I would opt for Poland Springs over Aquafina or Dasani. Smart water. Water from the clouds with electrolytes. Let's check it out. Three drops. Oh. That's a little better. I'm going to say that's around... Oh, that's around 7. So that's about... It's a little less than the tap water, but not bad. Ethos water. You can find this about... about any uh, Starbucks. So, three drops. Well, that's nice. That's a nice green. So, eth oh, Ethos is... Ethos looks like it's a little bit alkaline. I'm going to say it's around an 8, 7, 7.5, 8. Core water, this is a new one. Um, it's got a sweet bottle with a big blue cap. It says the, the perfect pH. They claim it's 7.4 because that's the pH of your blood. Um, let's see if they're telling the truth. So that's three drops. Uh. Yeah, that's about, about the same as the tap water. I'll give it to them, 7.4, a little bit alkaline. Volvic, natural spring water. This one is usually found in Europe. Let's see how they do. Oh, a little bit more alkaline than core, so I'm gonna say that's, a, that's above a seven. Maybe seven, eight, seven, nine. This is a Pepsi's new product, Life Water. Uh, they say it's pH balanced. It's got a really cool design that artists do on the front. Let's see what they do. Like that. Oh wow. pH balanced meaning acidic. So in reference, there's tap water, and here's Life Water more acidic than tap water 
I'm gonna say that's around a, a six. Penta, penta water, the ultra purified water. You go through several steps to make sure it's clean of any contaminants. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what the pH is. Three drops. Oh my gosh. Whoa. That's even more acidic than the Dasani Aquafina. I'm going to say that's turn a four. That's slightly better than Sprite. Man. Uh, one of my favorites. This one is Essentia. They claim it's 9.5 pH. You see their, uh, their new tagline is overreaching H2O. Um, they've done some studies to show that it gets into your muscles quicker because of the alkalinity. So let's, uh, let's see what they say. The pH actually is, whoa, the first purple. Wow, that's a really nice color. That, that's that got to be around 9.5. Oh, it's around 10. 10 is purple. This is this is the pH drops, guys. That's not blood. <laughs> uh, so that's around 10. Wow. So Evian, the upscale French Alps water. Let's see what that is. I'm expecting it to be around neutral. Oh yeah. That's alkaline. People say this is one of the best tasting waters. So I'm going to say it's around an 8. Fiji. From the islands of Fiji. Everyone says this is one of the softest waters. A little bit upscale. Let's see. Just three drops. Oh yeah, slightly alkaline. See that's around an eight. It's about the same as Evian. Uh, this is a new one I found. This is Waikia from the uh, volcanic, uh, from from the Hawaiian volcanoes, volcano water. They say it's naturally alkaline with electrolytes. Let's see what the pH is. Okay. Naturally alkaline. So they're not using any of the buffers or the sodiums that Essentia is using. So I'm going to say that's one. It's about the same as Evian and Fiji. Ice Canyon. You can find this at around, um, I think this is CVS in New York. It's a gold emblem, natural spring water with the pH of three drops. Oh yeah, it's a little bit more alkaline than the than the tap water. That's a good water, and cheap too. Some of these are much more expensive. Aqua Hydrate, P Diddy's, and uh, Mark Wahlberg's brand. Um, they say it's nine or higher in pH. Let's see, three drops. Okay, I believe them. It's not as not as purple as. The Essentia, but I'll say that's uh, what is that? It's around nine, a little higher than nine. Okay, this is Icelandic. I believe they say the pH is 8.4. Yeah, 8.4. Natural spring water from Iceland. Let's see what the pH is. So they claim it's 8.4 and, well, kind of a blue. I'm going to say that's, I'm going to say it's 8.4. I'm going to give that to them. Yeah, that's around 8.4. Okay, Gatorade's Propel. This is supposed to be a workout water with electrolytes. Um, let's see what the pH is. Oh, surprising. I thought that would be more acidic. Huh. This is a good water though. Around seven, eight even. Let me say it's around an eight. It's a nice blue. Yeah, I'm gonna say around eight. Voss, the most expensive water around from Norway. Let's see if you're actually getting what you pay for. Three drops, oh my gosh. Wow, that's not even. So for reference, there's the tap water, and there's Voss. It's around a five. 
That's about as good as Dasani. I'm not gonna buy that again. Eternal Water, the beautiful bottle. Naturally alkaline spring water. Let's see if they're telling the truth. Oh yeah. I'm gonna say that's around an eight. It's a nice, nice teal. Definitely, definitely alkaline. Uh, I found this at GNC along with the Aqua Hydrate. Uh, just wanted to see what their bottled water was. And they're supposed to, they're supposed to sell this to you for working out. So hopefully it's alkaline. Well, GNC. It looks very similar almost exactly the same color as the tap water from New York and I bought this from a GNC in New York so hmm questionable um, so this is 40 ounce water this is actually created by an actor I saw him at BevNet I believe he is in Sons of Anarchy um, and it's actually an interesting concept you're supposed to drink 80 ounces of water a day so he was just making this to make it simpler so you would buy two of these and that would be your water needed for the day so I actually like that concept making it easier for people to understand that you know it's important to drink a lot of water a day so hopefully he's selling some good water we'll find out oh you know what that's really disappointing that's pretty low. I'm going to reference back to Poland Spring here. It's a little bit more acidic than Poland Spring. I mean, it's better than Dasani. Way better than, than Dasani. So I'm going to say that's around a 6. It's not as alkaline as uh, the tap water, but it's not bad. Alright, this is mineral water. This is expensive. Aqua Capricia. Um, it's going to be acidic, guys. I didn't realize it was sparkling. So I poured it in there, but I like the bottle too much, so. Let's see if it's, le oh, you know what? That's actually not that bad. So, this is interesting. This is carbonated, and it is less acidic than Dasani. Less, dis <laughs> less acidic than Dasani, that is crazy. And it's carbonated, less acidic than Dasani and Aquafina and Pinta. Wow. You know what, honestly, it's about, it's about the same as this 40 ounce water. And it's carbonated, that is crazy, guys. Here's Hint. This is the only one I'm doing that's flavored. Um, they say it's essenced with flavor, so I'm wondering if that affects the pH. Um, just very curious about that, actually. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Wow. That's like drinking a soda. That's that's almost as honestly. That's hint. And that's sprite. You can't even tell the difference. And this is supposed to be I mean I this one actually has zero calories as well, so so does this. Oh my goodness, this is so acidic. I thought this was going to be way better than, than it is for you. So they claim it has purified water, blackberry, and other natural flavors, but it's looking to be this almost exactly as acidic as Sprite Zero, even without carbonation. That's wild. That's wild. Okay, and this one is from Dwayne Reed. Um, this is actually their store water. I was really interested because the pH, they're selling store water with a pH of 8.88, .8, um, they claim. So let's check that out. Oh, you know what? That is that is what they're saying. That's 8.88. .8. That's nice. I can tell to a second decimal. All right. Well, let's just do a recap here. Most acidic waters, I'm going to say Dasani. Aquafina, Penta, and 40 ounce is not that great, but this one is, this is, I think this is the most surprising of them all, 
This is blackberry water. I thought this would be higher in pH. Um, the highest ones here, let's say Aquafina is the lowest and Essentia is the highest. And Aqua Hydrate is probably second. And then Eternal. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Once again, my name is Chris Moss. I'm the CEO and co founder of Basic Water. Follow us on all social media in the links below and stay tuned for more alkaline product reviews. Thank you.